surgical training programs. Hmm, this is going to be more challenging than I thought. I'm a resident surgeon and I need surgical training, but the only surgeon available for training is in France. And the next available time slot is, let's see, oh, next year. There must be a different solution. I can train using virtual reality, but I won't have guided feedback from a professional surgeon, and I won't receive the same hands-on experience I get using cadavers. This looks interesting. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm Kate, and we're from the Biomechatronics Lab, and we're here to introduce you to our surgical training solution that will help with any of your surgical training needs. We created a tele-operated bilateral haptic device for collaborative surgical training. Our solution consists of these two haptic devices in a virtual simulation. With these devices, an expert surgeon can guide a training surgeon in a remote location, providing real-time haptic feedback for surgical procedures. Through this system, we eliminate the need for cadavers, while allowing an expert and training surgeon to work from any remote location, all while being able to provide real-time feedback to the training surgeon. This device incorporates three main operating modes, the first mode addresses the need for physical cadavers in surgical training by creating a bilateral haptic feedback interaction between the virtual simulation and device. While the surgeon moves the device, their movements will be reflected or tracked in the virtual simulation. The device incorporates haptic feedback when encountering materials such as tissue in the virtual environment. As you can see, when the scalpel enters the body, there is a slight force applied to our training surgeon's hand. To address the limitations of in-person surgical training, our system also features a bilateral haptic interaction mode, where a training surgeon can be guided with real-time feedback through a surgical procedure by an expert surgeon. This guidance can be provided remotely, meaning that the two devices do not have to be in the same physical location for the training to occur. Finally, the third operating mode solves the issue of the lack of real-time guidance from an expert surgeon. Through bilateral haptic feedback, the device can mirror the movements of the expert surgeon onto the training surgeon, allowing the expert to move the trainee in the direction they deem correct, enhancing the training surgeon's overall experience. This device prioritizes remote training while maintaining feedback from the expert surgeon, creating a remote surgical training device. Through the combination of all these operating modes, we can present to you the tele-operated bilateral haptic device for collaborative virtual reality surgical training. Now let's meet the team behind this revolutionary device. We're Group 28. I'm Garrett. I'm the Mechanical Design Lead in Biomedical and Electrical Engineering. I'm Cade. I was the Electrical Design Lead, also in Biomedical and Electrical Engineering. And I'm Josh. I was the Communications Design Lead, and I'm in Computer Systems Engineering. I'm Alexia. I'm the Virtual Environment Design Lead, and I'm in Biomedical and Electrical Engineering.